Welcome to Miss Watkins World. We're going to come together a couple of times every week to learn lots of fun things. We'll do some math lessons and some reading lessons. And I'm so excited because we're going to learn so much. Now this week, our lesson will be about, it's about time. We're learning about time this week. So after today's lesson, you're gonna be able to do four different things. You're going to be able to identify an analog clock, identify a digital clock, name the parts of a clock, and tell time to the hour. Do you know what clocks are used for? If you said clocks are used so that people know what time it is, you're absolutely right. If we didn't have clocks, then if someone tried to have a meeting with someone else, there would be no way for them to tell what time it is so that both people would be at the place at the same time. So clocks are very important. We use them for a lot of different things. We use clocks to wake us up in the morning. There are clocks that tell us what time we need to be at school. There are clocks that tell us what time we need to go to bed. Clocks help us know when it's time to eat. And they also help our parents know when it's time to go to work. Clocks can be found in many different places in your house. There are two different types of clocks. There's a digital clock and there's an analog clock. Now you can find these clocks all over your house. So right now what I want you to do is we're going on a hunt. I want you to pause the video you're gonna go on a scavenger hunt. Go all over your house and count how many digital and analog clocks there are. Don't forget that clocks can also be on cell phones, on watches, on microwaves, on hanging on the wall. There are clocks on your stove. So hit pause and go, go, go. Come back when you count and figure out how many clocks there are in your house. Welcome back, friends. How many clocks did you find? Now, did you look everywhere? Did you check the bedrooms, the kitchen, the living room, everywhere? Good. Now, we're gonna talk about the different types of clocks. So as you went around your house, you might have saw that some clocks were analog clocks like this, and some clocks were digital clocks like that. So a lot of the clocks that you're gonna see are going to be digital clocks. Digital clocks are a little bit easier to read because all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's one set of numbers for the hour and there's one set of numbers for the minute. When you see these types of clocks, it's easy to glance at it very quickly and tell what time it is. Now, we're gonna spend most of our time learning about telling time using an analog clock. So when we are learning about the parts of the clock, we're actually learning about an analog clock. Analog clocks can be shaped in many different ways. My clock is shaped in a circle, but all analog clocks are not shaped in a circle. This part of the analog clock is called the face. Point to your face. This is the face of the clock, okay? Clocks also have 
these two things right here. And those are called the clocks. Hands. Put your hands up. Oh, 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 oh. Hands. So just like a clock has hands, we have hands too. A clock has two hands. Okay? So this is a clock's face. Good job. And these are the clock's hands very good now we use the hands on the clock to tell us how many hours and how many minutes there are okay so the short hand is the hour hand 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 today Mostly going to work with this short hand because we're gonna learn how to tell time to an hour. Now, even though my clock has a red hour hand and a blue minute hand, don't look for the hands to be this color in most clocks. Most clocks, the hands are just black. But you have to remember that the short hand is the hour hand good job so the shorthand tells us what hour it is i think the reason why the shorthand is the hour hand is because the hours on the clock the numbers on the clock are much larger that's typically on every clock that's an analog clock and i think the shorthand is our hand because it makes it easier for us to tell what hour it is. So, whenever this hour hand is pointed at a number, that tells us what hour it is. Now, before we move on and start working and learning how to tell time to the hour, I thought we should play a little game. Let's play a game. I'm gonna show you some pictures of some clocks and you're gonna try to figure out if the clock is a digital clock or an analog clock. So when I show the clock, you have to quickly yell out digital or analog real quick to see if you got the answer right. Are you ready? All right. Analog or digital? Good job. That clock is a digital clock. Analog or digital? Good job. That clock is an analog clock. Great job. How did you do? Oh, were you counting how many you got right? Good job. Let's review really quickly before we move on. Let's look at the parts of a clock and see if you can guess the name of the part of the clock before I say it. Remember I told you that the parts of the clock have names just like our body part. What is this part of the clock called? Good job, that's the clock's face. What are these called? Great job. Those are the clock's hands. Now we're ready to work on telling time to the hour. So I change clocks just because that other clock, sometimes I like to use it because the hour hand and the minute hand are different colors. But since we already talked about it, and we know that the short hand is the, the short hand is the hour hand. The short hand is the hour hand. Now this clock is a little bit easier for me to use because it lets me hold the minute hand in place. So whenever your minute hand, that's the long hand, because remember, the short hand is the hour hand, okay? Whenever the minute hand 
is pointed straight up at the number 12, we say o'clock. So when we're reading the time, we say o'clock. So since we're just working on telling time to the hour, I'm going to hold this minute hand in place so that I can move the hour hand just like that. When the hour hand is pointed at the number one and the minute hand is straight up at the 12, we say that it's one o'clock. Now it's two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. What time is it now? If you said six o'clock, you are absolutely correct. Good job. What time is it now? Right, it's nine o'clock. Great job. You have worked very hard. When the minute hand and the hour hand are both pointing straight up to the 12, that is 12 o'clock. Sometimes it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so people will say it's noon. That's about lunchtime. Or if it's pointing straight up and it's dark outside, that means it's midnight. So sometimes people will say that it's midnight. This is 12 o'clock. So it kind of makes it hard to see both hands on the clock, but you can tell when they're both straight up that that is 12 o'clock. All right, good job. Let's play a little game. Let's see if you can beat me telling me what time it is. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. What time is it? Right, it's 12 o'clock. Good job. Now, sometimes on a clock, the hour hand will be in between two numbers, like this. That hour hand is in between the one and the two. Whenever you see it like this, don't be tricked, okay? Uh-uh, can't trick us. We're super smart. Because this hour hand has not reached the number two yet, then the hour is gonna be a one. And that hour will keep being a one until the hour hand is all the way on the two. It even works sometimes. It works when the hour hand is in between the four or the five. Which hour would it be? Right, it would be four because it hasn't reached the five yet. So it can't be the fifth hour because it hasn't gotten there yet. Let's try another one. Will the hour be a nine or a 10? Very good. It would be a nine because the hour hand has not reached the 10 yet. Telling time to the hour on a digital clock is pretty easy. When you're looking at a digital clock, the first number is the hour number. That first number tells us what the hour is. Then you'll see these two dots. We call those colons. The last two numbers will tell us how many minutes there are. So whenever it is 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, that means that the minutes on the clock has reset. When you are looking at a clock, every time that clock goes around 
and reaches the 12 again, the minutes will reset. So on a digital clock, the way they show that is there are two zeros for the minutes. When you see those two zeros for the minutes, you, when you're reading it, you just say o'clock, just like you did on the analog clock. So this clock shows five o'clock. This clock shows seven o'clock. This clock shows 11 o'clock. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good job, friends. You have worked so hard today. We learned how to identify an analog clock, how to identify a digital clock. We went around our house and found some clocks in our house. We talked about why we need clocks and what they're used for. We also learned the names of the parts of the clock. And we learned how to tell time to the hour. I'm so glad that you joined me for this lesson today. You worked really, really hard. Kiss your brain. I'm brilliant. Yes, you are. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back to see what we're learning next time.